guys, this is going to be super quick because it's totally late and I only have one hour until this is supposed to be up and I'm exhausted. So, welcome to Wednesday, your music day of the week. La 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 la. Um, I was a little bit disgruntled to get this one because I have no musical talent and I was hoping for a few more weeks to kind of prepare something. Um, you're all going to be kind of mad at me because... I'm not actually going to be doing anything spectacular today. I had a rap planned um, using cups and spoons as my instrument, but I have been working and getting my apartment ready to sell and I'm so tired. So I promise that next time I get Wednesday as my day, I will make a spectacular rap with spoons and cups and maybe I'll even throw some saxophone in for you and make a huge idiot of myself so you can laugh at me and feel better about the fact that I betrayed you this week. So what I've done today is I wrote you guys a poem. It should be a long poem full of thoughtfulness and metaphors and figurative language and all that fun stuff, but because I don't have time kind of cheated, and you're all going to be really mad, but I wrote a haiku. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, uh, I'm really sorry. If I had time to edit this, there'd be like, poetry reading music. <laughs> okay. Shadow on a winding road. A passage of lights. Guide to a crypt of secrets. Are you all totally mad right now that was my brilliant haiku? I could have been a lot better. I'm an English major. I should be good at this, but I'm <sighs> sorry. You guys can kick me out if you want. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, so that poem was supposed to be about, you know, when they're driving to an eclipse, when they're having the graduation party, and they're driving to the Collins house, and Bella's like, oh, maybe we'll get lost when they're on the winding roads, and it's dark. And then they're like, oh, Ellis put lights on the trees, damn it. And the lights are all lit up, and then you go down, and there's the house. And it's not really a crypt, but I thought that sounded more mysterious. And you know, secrets, they're vampires. <sighs> I apologize for being so completely untalented. Part two of this video, now that the humiliating, untalented portion of it is over. Um, Breaking Dawn. I actually didn't get to go to a release party, unfortunately. Um, I had to work at 8 the next day and, you know, I knew that if I went to the release party I'd end up buying the book, and then I'd be awake all night reading it, and then I would be dreary-eyed during work, and then probably get fired, and then I would come home and, you know, keep reading and not even sleep. So, I thought it would be better to not go to the release party. And anyway, I actually ordered the book in February off Amazon, which turned out to be a huge mistake because it didn't come until yesterday. So what I did was that I went to Chapters, which is like the Canadian equivalent of Barnes & Nobles, I guess, and I hid behind the bookshelf and I read the book behind the bookshelf without paying for it. I'm a criminal. But I will do crime for Twilight. And so I only got to the part where um, the, uh, Jacob imprints on Nessie and then the security guard was kind of like, hey, what you up to? And I was like, just making sure this is the book I want. And then I ran. So yeah, I didn't get to read the rest until yesterday when I got the book and then I read the rest. And I was not happy with Breaking Dawn. Mm -mm. I know a lot of people liked it, and I know a lot of people didn't like it, and I was not a huge fan of the book. And it doesn't make me like Twilight any less. I still love Twilight, but I don't know. I feel like it felt like to me that someone else completely was writing the book. I felt like it was kind of incongruent with the rest of the series. It, I'm used to Twilight being really romantic and... I don't know, there was some conflict and some scary menace, but mostly it was about, you know, Bella and Edward's love for each other. And in this one, there's a lot of gruesomeness, 
that I didn't really like. Um, Bella's whole pregnancy really bothered me. The fact that she was so sick and puking blood and that it was killing her. I didn't like that. And I kind of enjoyed Jacob's input. Like, I enjoyed his point of view. But I felt as if it took away from the whole development of Bella having a baby. Like, one second we had Bella not wanting to give up her baby and then the next she was close to giving birth and really sick like I just thought we missed out on a lot of that part of the book and I would have preferred if it was all in Bella's point of view and maybe if she wrote a book from Jacob's point of view as well I don't know I didn't like that part and Jacob imprinting on Renesme. I kind of find that really gross. I know that Jacob can't help it. It's not Jacob's fault. I'm not grossed out by Jacob, but ugh. I just no matter how you look at it, even if it's supernatural. And I I know that Jacob doesn't see her romantically yet, but I still think it's gross to have a crush on a girl and then to eventually end up with her daughter. I think that crosses some lines that maybe shouldn't ever be crossed. I would have liked it if Jacob imprinted on, you know, the girl he met who really liked cars. That would have been the kind of romance I was looking for. And Renezme in general, the fact that she is so perfect just annoyed me. I don't know, I'm sorry guys, I felt like I was just reading really bad fan fiction that someone wrote and I was like ha 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 that's imagine if that was the real book and then I was like oh wait it is the real book you know uh, what kind of name Renesme Carly really <sighs> when she said that I was like ha ha they're all gonna make fun of her for being pregnant and delirious and thinking up stupid names and then they kept it and I was like really so yeah I'm not gonna bore you with my rambling even though I probably already have, but yeah, not a fan of Breaking Dawn. As soon as I finished it, I read Twilight again to make myself feel better. Um, I still am excited for Midnight Sun though, because I read the first chapter and it looks pretty good, so at least I know that she can't surprise me in Midnight Sun because we already know what happens, so yeah. That's all I have to say. I'm sorry this video sucked. My hair's not straightened either. Maybe I should have worn a hood, but yeah. So that's all I have to say, and hopefully I'll get this up on time, and hopefully you're not completely mad that my poem sucked so bad. And I promise next week my energy and my activity will be a lot more rewarding. I can't even think. I'm going to bed. Bye!